In this video, we will highlight 10 RWA crypto altcoins that have the potential to 50 to 200x by 2025. This is the ultimate RWA altcoins list for the upcoming bull run. Make sure to check them all out and make millions next year. Let's jump right in with our first RWA project we would like to highlight, called TokenFi. TokenFi is a user-friendly platform for crypto and asset tokenization that allows users to tokenize any real-world asset and launch crypto tokens without needing to write code or spend much money. Part of the Floki ecosystem, TokenFi was initially created to distribute token crypto rewards to the Floki community. TokenFi was introduced in late October 2023 as the result of a Floki DAO proposal to launch a staking program. The Floki community approved the proposal and immediately setting the project in motion. The TokenFi platform uses token coins to reward users who stake Floki coins. TokenFi features five key components. The TokenFi token launcher lets anyone create ERC-20 and BEP-20 compliant tokens in a few simple steps. The RWA tokenization module will allow users to input any RWA that isn't a security and turn it into a crypto token. The TokenFi launchpad takes care of the technical aspects of fundraising, so that project creators can focus on networking and fundraising. The TokenFi AI Smart Contract Auditor will help ensure that crypto token launches and asset tokenization remain fully above board. Users will be able to get on-the-spot token audits for their smart contracts, which will reassure the community and prevent malicious actors from taking advantage of TokenFi's easy token generation process. With the Referral and User Incentives Program, TokenFi hopes to further support the tokenization industry through user incentives. In order to boost program adoption, users who refer others will receive additional token rewards. TokenFi is more than just a new part of the Floki ecosystem, as it also has exciting implications for the billion-dollar tokenization industry. By focusing on the real-world asset tokenization process, TokenFi has the potential to further connect the blockchain industry with real-world items. TokenFi currently has a market cap of 100 million. A market cap of 8 billion is possible in a bull run for this unique project. That is a 80x from here. As our second RWA project, we would like to highlight Credify. The Credify platform is an innovative blend of DeFi protocol and traditional fintech solutions. Within the conventional financial ecosystem, small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, and DeFi lenders often face challenges in accessing lending and borrowing services. Notable problems include inconsistent DeFi yields, high interest rates, and a limited number of lenders who can meet the demands of SMEs. Credi addresses these issues through decentralized and secure lending. Its services are provided in three stages, portfolio lending, project-based P2P lending, and trade finance. In the portfolio lending stage, Credify allows users to lend stablecoins to various portfolios. These portfolios range from low to high risk and lenders can select them based on their risk tolerance. Credi assists lenders with risk assessment, credit score data, and other relevant information. All credit portfolios, depending on the risk, will yield an APY of approximately 10%. In the project-based P2P lending stage, Credify leverages the decentralized nature of blockchain technology to offer peer-to-peer -peer lending services. This stage aims to enable users to connect directly for lending and borrowing without intermediaries. Credify also offers zero collateral loans in this stage. In the final stage, trade finance, Credi combines traditional financial services with decentralization to offer lending and borrowing services to a wide customer base without barriers. This stage includes trade finance, meaning lenders and borrowers can enter into a deal and underwrite agreements such as a letter of credit or letter of guarantee. The Credify platform serves as a bridge between crypto lenders and SMEs with its versatile functions. Tokenizing real-world assets not only enables fractional ownership, but also enhances liquidity. SMEs can use these asset tokens as collateral for loans on the Credify platform, thereby improving liquidity and enabling diversified portfolios. Leveraging blockchain and smart contract technology, the Credify platform ensures seamless transactions. Credify currently has a market cap of 10 million. We predict that Credi will have a market cap of at least 2 billion in 2025. That is a beautiful 200x from here. RWA project number three you should look into is Realio. The Realio network represents a comprehensive, all-inclusive software as a service platform operating within the cutting-edge sector of the blockchain technology space. The primary goal of the Realio network is to seamlessly merge sophisticated, enterprise-grade blockchain technology 
with investment opportunities of unparalleled institutional quality. Operating across multiple platforms, the Realio network runs on both the Ethereum and Arbitrum networks, which are well regarded for their reliability and versatility. This dual platform operation ensures a robust, dependable environment, conducive to a broad range of digital asset activities. The Realio network stands on four foundational pillars that contribute to its comprehensive nature. These pillars include fiat and cryptocurrency payment services, crypto trading services, crypto economic services, and community services. Each of these integral components works together to create a well-rounded platform that serves the diverse needs of its user base. To further enhance usability and functionality, the Realio network offers an expansive range of features. These include, but are not limited to, a decentralized exchange, a secure wallet, a tokenization engine for asset digitization, a compliance engine to ensure regulatory adherence, and a smart contract engine. These features enable users to engage in a broad spectrum of digital asset activities. Realio aims to make investing in real-world assets like real estate or even company shares more accessible by facilitating fractional ownership through security tokens. The prospects of decentralized real estate through blockchain technology are exciting. This technology enables fractional asset ownership, passive income, and easy liquidity access. Blockchain security and transparency improve trust, something traditional real estate investment often lacks. The tokenization process is simple and efficient. Major institutions have acknowledged its transformative impact on traditional markets. With the Realio network spearheading this innovative investment method, the future of real estate looks brighter than ever. Rio currently has a market cap of 50 million. We predict that Rio will have a market cap of at least 8 billion in a bull run. That is a crazy 160x from here. As our fourth RWA project, we would like to highlight Origin Trail. Origin Trail is a platform that uses both a blockchain and a technology called a decentralized knowledge graph, DKG, to manage data about real-world assets in the digital space. The design of its ecosystem is to improve the discoverability of important, shared knowledge across the world. Origin Trail was initially conceived as a solution to integrate the advanced capabilities of blockchain technology into the realm of supply chain logistics. The primary objective was to establish a reliable, decentralized hub for supply chain management where customers, manufacturers, and suppliers could share critical data and track the entire product journey securely and transparently. As the project evolved, the scope of Origin Trail expanded beyond supply chain logistics to include the digitization of any real-world asset. Consequently, Origin Trail now incorporates features that are reminiscent of other crypto projects such as VeChain, which is heavily focused on supply chain logistics, and Centrifuge, which is known for its work in the field of RWA tokenization. In addition to these features, the platform also addresses the prevalent issue of misinformation by meticulously verifying the source of all information before it is made available to users, thereby ensuring the integrity and accuracy of the data. In terms familiar to those in the crypto industry, the underlying blockchain of Origin Trail serves as its layer 1, while the decentralized knowledge graph functions as its layer 2. This unique combination effectively harnesses the trustless and verifiable nature of blockchain technology. With the robust data representation capabilities of a DKG to create a complex yet logical and functional system. The data representation includes the origin of the data, which is critical for ensuring transparency and trust. Looking towards the future, Origin Trail is continually evolving to include artificial intelligence in its data management processes to further enhance its capabilities. The team behind the project is also proactively working on scaling its operations to cater to a larger user base and handle more data. Finally, the trace token, TRAC, which serves as Origin Trail's utility token, is used for multiple purposes within the platform. Users can stake TRAC tokens, pay for the publication of data known as knowledge assets, and set collateral on the DKG network nodes. TRAC currently has a market cap of 250 million. We predict that TRAC will have a market cap of at least 15 billion in the future. That is a 60x from here. Our fifth altcoin of this video is the biggest RWA project currently, called Ondo. Stablecoins have become indispensable for several reasons. Primarily, they bridge the traditional financial world with the digital asset space, offering a stable medium of exchange in a traditionally very volatile market. In this evolving landscape, Ondo Finance is carving out its niche by revolutionizing real-world assets through its innovative product offerings. 
Ondo's approach centers around tokenizing stable, income-generating assets from the traditional financial world, thereby merging the best of both worlds. The reliability and familiarity of traditional finance with the efficiency and accessibility of blockchain technology. The structure of Ondo Finance is split into two primary arms, the asset management arm and the technology arm. The asset management arm is responsible for creating and overseeing tokenized financial products. These products are intricately designed to embody the characteristics of traditional financial instruments while leveraging the benefits of blockchain technology. On the other hand, the technology arm of Ondo is focused on developing decentralized finance protocols, which are integral to the functioning and scalability of Ondo's financial offerings. A distinctive aspect of Ondo's approach lies in its protocol development. The protocols, once established, are designed to operate independently of Ondo. This independence is reflected in their governance and web interfaces, which are managed by separate entities, not controlled by Ondo. This separation underscores Ondo's commitment to creating decentralized and autonomous financial ecosystems. In the volatile realm of cryptocurrency, trust and security are paramount. Ondo addresses these concerns by collaborating with established, reputable partners in various operational aspects. For instance, the OUSG Fund, managed in partnership with BlackRock and involving entities like Citi, JP Morgan, and State Street, exemplifies Ondo's commitment to quality and security. Additionally, the use of Coinbase for crypto asset custody further reinforces this commitment. Ondo currently has a market cap of 1.3 billion. We believe that Ondo has the potential to reach a market cap of at least 60 billion in 2025. That is a 46x from here. As our sixth RWA project, we would like to highlight Goldfinch. Goldfinch represents a groundbreaking decentralized credit protocol that has been thoughtfully designed to enable crypto borrowing without the standard requirement of crypto collateral. Instead of tying loans to on-chain crypto assets, Goldfinch's approach allows these loans to be fully backed by off-chain assets. This is a significant departure from the norm, as existing decentralized crypto lending protocols frequently impose a requirement for borrowers to over-collateralize their loans with crypto assets. This stringent requirement often acts as a barrier, excluding a large majority of potential borrowers on a global scale. However, Goldfinch has successfully managed to incorporate the principle of trust through consensus into its operational model. This innovative approach allows borrowers to establish and demonstrate their creditworthiness based on the collective assessment carried out by other participants in the network, as opposed to relying solely on their crypto assets. The Goldfinch protocol functions with three main roles at its core, investors, borrowers, and auditors. Within this ecosystem, Investors supply USDC to the protocol, which is then accessible for use by borrowers. There exist two distinct paths to becoming an investor within the Goldfinch network, as a backer or as a liquidity provider. Backers are primarily driven by yield and specificity. They carry out comprehensive evaluations of individual borrower pools, make informed decisions about whether they should invest in them with their first loss capital, and in return, they earn the highest yields offered by the protocol. On the other hand, liquidity providers are more focused on diversification and liquidity. They are network members who contribute both capital and GFI to a Goldfinch membership vault, with the overarching aim of promoting the network's growth and ensuring its security. The borrowers in this ecosystem are participants who seek financing from Goldfinch, and they propose borrower pools that are put forth for evaluation by the network. In this way, the Goldfinch protocol capitalizes on the unique benefits of cryptocurrency specifically its ability to provide global access to capital. Goldfinch currently has a market cap of 75 million. We predict that Goldfinch will have a market cap of at least 8 billion in a bull run. That is a nice 107x from here. RWA project number seven you should look into is called Swarm Markets. Swarm Markets presents itself as the world's first licensed DeFi platform, regulated by the German Federal Financial Supervisory Authority. This project functions as a compliant AMM-based DEX for Ethereum, targeting both institutions and individual investors seeking a safer way to participate in DeFi. Swarm Market supports various types of tokens, including crypto assets and tokenized real-world assets. It was an early entrant into the rapidly growing tokenized RWA segment. In 2021, the project announced it was adding up to 250 liquidity providers, who pledged $15 million. It also launched the first version of its DEX on Ethereum. 
As of 2024, Swarm Markets authorizes many different types of tokens for listing, including tokenized versions of stocks like Apple, Tesla, and Nvidia. So, how does Swarm Markets operate? Automated market makers are a common feature of decentralized exchanges in the DeFi sector. Most of them, like Uniswap, Balancer, or Curve, use AMMs solely for cryptocurrencies and tokens. Swarm Markets, however, targets investors who wish to trade on-chain tokens representing a range of assets, including stocks, bonds, commodities, and more. The underlying AMM operates similarly to Balancer, with liquidity providers contributing ERC-20 tokens representing crypto assets or securities to liquidity pools, where they are available for traders wanting to swap these assets. Participation in Swarm Markets requires a passport, a KYC process linked to a self-custodial crypto wallet, such as MetaMask or Ledger. Swarm also offers business accounts for institutional participation and operates a permissionless, decentralized, over-the-counter trading service for institutions wanting to execute large on-chain transactions. After a clarification from the European Supervisory Market Authority that the new markets and crypto assets regulation would not apply to decentralized applications and services, the project implemented DOTC orders. Due to legal restrictions, Swarm Markets is not available in all countries. It doesn't service US residents, but residents in many European, Asian, and Latin American countries are allowed. SMT currently has a market cap of 40 million. We believe that SMT has the potential to reach a market cap of at least 6 billion in 2025. That is a nice 150x from here. As our 8 RWA project, we would like to highlight Pendle Finance. Pendle is an innovative project that brings a unique and fresh perspective to the practice of yield optimization within the DeFi space. At its core, the protocol is intricately designed to enable users to trade tokenized future yields of DeFi assets. This ingenious approach paves the way for a novel market for yield exposure, a concept that was previously beyond reach in the DeFi landscape. This market offers users unprecedented access to yield, that they would otherwise have been unable to tap into. In turn, this fosters the creation of new, lucrative investment opportunities for investors who are constantly on the hunt for yield. Central to Pendle's functionality is the use of yield tokens. These tokens serve as a representation of a future stream of yield emanating from a specific DeFi asset. Examples of these assets range from a liquidity pool token to a lending token. The unique feature of these tokens is that they can be traded on secondary markets. This provides users with the ability to buy and sell future yield exposure to these assets, opening up a new frontier of opportunities. One of Pendle's key strengths lies in its capability to create customizable yield structures. These are tailored to meet the specific needs of users, providing an additional layer of flexibility and customization. This feature allows users to optimize their yield strategies based on their individual risk tolerance and investment goals. In addition to all these features, Pendle also introduces a unique staking mechanism. Users can stake their Pendle tokens, thereby earning rewards for providing liquidity to yield token markets. This incentive mechanism encourages users to provide liquidity, which in turn ensures a boost in liquidity. This increase in liquidity helps to maintain stable prices for yield tokens, thereby contributing to a more robust and stable DeFi ecosystem. In conclusion, Pendle is an ambitious project that offers a fresh perspective on yield optimization in the DeFi space. Pendle currently has a market cap of 500 million. A market cap of 50 billion is possible in a bull run for this unique project. That is exactly a 100x from here. Our ninth RWA project we would like to highlight is called Clearpool. Clearpool is the first decentralized credit marketplace worldwide originating hundreds of millions of loans through its DeFi protocols. It operates on various networks, giving investors the freedom to choose the loan requests they wish to fund. Clearpool serves as a bridge between institutional borrowers and lenders. These lenders contribute their digital assets to individual borrower pools. They have full control over the borrower they lend to and their risk exposure, which they can assess by reviewing borrower profiles. Lenders can earn higher interest rates and returns by providing unsecured institutional liquidity to higher-risk borrower pools. To participate with Clearpool as a borrower or lender, users must own Cpool tokens. Borrowers set up their borrower pool, and financial institutions determine the interest rates for each borrower pool through the Clearpool Oracle network. 
Lenders can then stake their Seapool tokens to a specific pool, earning interest on their stake tokens. Clearpool initiates blockchain technology crypto lending by creating single borrower pools. Risks are evaluated based on borrowers' profiles and the credit market, enabling potential lenders to assess the total value potential for their investments. Clearpool launched in early 2022 with three liquidity pools from FBG Capital, Wintermute, and Folkwang. In 2024, Clearpool has introduced term pools, credit vaults, a new chain, fintech borrowers, and a new user interface. Looking ahead, its decentralized credit marketplace will further evolve, featuring multi-chain growth, detailed credit report availability, the second version of Clearpool Prime, a new staking model, exchange-traded pools, and other enhancements. Clearpool has a market cap of 70 million right now. A market cap of at least 7 billion in a bull run is doable in 2025, and is a nice 100x from here. As our final RWA project, we would like to highlight Centrifuge. The main goal of Centrifuge is to connect DeFi with real-world assets. By doing so, it plans to lower the cost of capital, which could significantly benefit small and mid-sized enterprises. This would also provide investors with a more stable income source. The project also seeks to remove the volatility from profits made through cryptocurrencies. Since it can't eliminate volatility or stabilize crypto prices, it aims to enable users to generate profits not tied to crypto assets. Essentially, its developers aim to transfer real monetary value from the fiat industry to the cryptocurrency sector. Centrifuge grants access to DeFi's liquidity without relying on volatile cryptocurrencies. This can be especially beneficial for companies that want to use crypto but don't want to expose their funds to the risk of devaluation. Centrifuge provides liquidity to everyone allowing assets like real estate, invoices, royalties, and more to be linked with decentralized finance. It can also be used by borrowers who wish to finance their real assets without relying on banks and other financial institutions. DeFi procedures are mostly automated thanks to smart contracts, making them more affordable and transparent, without hidden fees. They also offer users the ability to profit through staking their assets. Staking requires no effort or knowledge from stakers, just locking up their coins and not withdrawing them. In return, they receive regular rewards for supporting the project. The protocol tokenizes real-world assets by converting them into NFTs, which are then granted entry to the blockchain world. The NFTs are funded via Tinlake, Centrifuge's first dApp, which was designed to access liquidity on Ethereum. These tokenized real-world assets could be stakes in business ventures, loans, or physical assets. Once tokenized, Tinlake assets can be freely transferred and used across the extensive DeFi product and service ecosystem. Tinlake also empowers stablecoin issuers to provide stable value stores backed by collateralized asset pools. As investors possess different risk-reward profiles, the Centrifuge Tinlake dApp is designed to offer a way for users to invest in the same asset through different investment classes. Centrifuge currently has a market cap of 200 million. We believe that Centrifuge has the potential to reach a market cap of at least 10 billion in the future. That is a solid 50x from here. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and put notifications on to stay updated on all the latest crypto trends.